think these southern roots here. A little update on some of my pots, flower pots, I guess. I have no idea what kind that is, but it's one plant that is just loving it. That is a perennial grass. I've got the tag somewhere. But uh, this is a sweet potato vine that is almost in its better day. But that thing, has, that's one plant that went all over, even to the back. That thing is just keep growing. These are um, hostas. There. I got one in there, but it's starting to grow there. And there's another one of those. Yeah. These are. It's sniffling a haircut. You don't need to do it though, as hot as it is. It's supposed to be a two tier. And these are the burnums. I got a little bit of blooms left. They're starting to bud just a little bit. I don't know how much longer them things are going to last. Oh. Garage a minute. Done a little harvesting this morning. And you imagine the bees, yay! And the cucumbers. Getting ready to go make some sweet relish and uh, some dill pickles, a little bit of okra. I then took the one pan in from the, from the peppers and stuff. It was a small amount and I got tomatoes ripening on the, one of his boards, we won't tell him. <laughs> I found another pot. Concrete, really heavy. A lot of detail on it. Found it for ten dollars. Need a little cleaning. Needs a little cleaning. A little intro here. I'm Robbie. I don't know if I've ever said that on a video. My husband's Bart. We have seven kiddos. This was real pretty. This, I found these two. They're cute at the end of my sidewalk. It's the Bradford pear. Definitely got to be transplanted, but this time of year be rough on it. So these are some kind of. My grandma used to call them bumblebee bushes. They when they bloom out, they got a big old yellow little yellow flower all over it. There's the, and we want to extend that a little bit and then put uh, maybe some salvia or something or other. There's my porch. I don't know if you can see those. Some grasses. Got the little, I don't know, I want to get all the way up here, I guess. And see them next year. I think I'm gonna do some kind of a bigger, different color that way it'll bounce off the house a little bit. These is one potato vine. These were real pretty, pretty purple flowers. Supposed to be ones that crawl over the side, but. And then there's the center. This is called a baby blue eye spruce. It says it gets 15 to 8 foot high, wide, 15 foot high. So I'm gonna have to dig it up eventually and put it somewhere on the start of a new flower bed. Mm. I'm Robbie, and Bart's my husband, and we are uh, seven kids, and we have the oldest is Cody, and the second is his son. He goes in the military. He's in the uh, Marines right now. He's stationed. Then we have Lindsay, Bailey, Sydney, 
And then Dustin's our 15 year old and we got little Brooklyn, she just turned two. Uh, we got her at 11 days old. So we started way back over. So my oldest is 27. <laughs> she is two, so we, we started back over. But there's my apples. This is, haven't, this is one of the better years we've had since we lived here. Got some pretty good apples. I don't know if you see them. Some of them are pretty good size, some of them's not. Uh, this is gonna have to be the one to take down, if you can see. That dead, that's a dead limb all the way up. And then it's got all these hoes all the way through it. It's everywhere. This is another one I really like. Something about the grasses. These are the purple fountain grass. These are supposed to be annual for this area. It takes a while for them to really... These have just popped out in the last two or three weeks. But them are real pretty. I like those. You can see in the background. Hey, that's what we were doing yesterday. We didn't get home until 9.30 last night. And ate a bite and showered and that was it. We've got 70 bales. We planned on looking at getting a cow or steer um, and feed out to butcher. I know a lot of people don't agree with that, but this is what we our plans are for the home for the farm. So. She drove it back here yesterday. Mm. Ugh, other project going on. We've got that boat. Got to put a a motor on it. It's had to out painting it. We'll see. We got the gravel spread out. Trying to where all that fresh dirt was. We still need another couple of loads in the back. Need still a couple more back there. Let's go see the goats. Where's the other two at? Hmm, there's the other two. Oh, we're snowflake and butter, snowflake and blizzard. I don't see them. Oh, oh it's still on baby watch. She had like she was drunk yesterday. Got her all cleaned up. Mm, you got her all cleaned up. Has she got anything to eat yet? Mm -hmm. Oh, look how she's hunting. Oh, is she hunting? What does the kids think about it? Huh? Like one of the kids was thinking about it. Milo and Oliver. Huh? What is it, Spaz? What a good mommy. You got her all cleaned up. Yes, you do. Oh, how pretty. How pretty. I saw it out here at 7 this morning. She didn't have it, so. Last, last 
couple of hours she's had it. She seems to still be grunting. I don't know if she's going to have another one or not. How cute. How cute. How cute all four. All four hooves are black up to her knee uh, joints. Hey, baby. Hey, honey. Hey. The mama's always been skittish. Since we've had her. I don't know, her tail's still up. So. We'll see in a little bit. We'll come back in a little bit and check on her. Good job, Mommy. Good job. Thanks for watching. Get ready to go get a big old glass of sweet iced tea. See y'all next time. Bye.